It's supposed to be a safe place to learn and work, but parents and carers of students at Corwell High School now fear the campus is anything but. To the point where we've got teachers being assaulted and that there's been, you know, union action and things and, well, I... I wasn't aware of any of that sort of level of detail. This parent, who wants to remain anonymous, says she and other parents were notified on Friday that Year 7 and 8 students would return to remote learning for the remainder of the term due to staff shortages from COVID-19 and what the school described as other challenges. I wanted to cry because our house has just been in, well, still in partial quarantine from COVID. So we've just missed a week of school. What they weren't told was that the issues go far beyond absences caused by the coronavirus. A prohibition notice served on the school by WorkSafe ACT includes a long list of incidents reported to inspectors, including teachers and administration staff daily being abused, threatened, sworn at, screamed at, objects thrown at them and subject to sexualised behaviour or some form of violence from students, as well as staff shortages, including an example where there were around 70 five students with only one teacher and one learning support officer. It also details incidents where fires had been lit on school grounds, there was regular vaping in the toilets, drug use and the use of improvised weapons by students on other students, and details of an assault in the principal's office during which the principal herself was thrown across her desk. It's distressing, absolutely distressing. Uh, colleagues and, and, and I have read it and we're in tears. Um, it, it shouldn't be like this. The government insists incidents like these are rare. Corwell is a great school. It is a safe school. This is a rare circumstance that has occurred in our school in, in Corwell and we've responded appropriately. We were first aware of it nine months ago uh, and at that point we took action and got an apology from the Education Directorate for the situation that Corwell High School had faced and an agreement that uh, the resources would be provided. But the union says the government didn't make good on that promise and after referring the issue to the Work Safety Watchdog, the Education Directorate will now need to demonstrate that Corwell High School can meet maximum class sizes and mitigate occupational safety risks. The opposition says the government has more explaining to do. Kids are in a violent situation, teachers are being assaulted, you've got roaming gangs and the directorate didn't think that they should tell parents that there was an issue going on at their school. Corwell High isn't the only school that's resumed remote learning for some students, with staff shortages attributed to COVID-19 now seeing McGregor Primary, Gordon Primary, Namadji Primary and Campbell Primary all impacted. It's yet to be seen whether those schools and others will continue to struggle into the winter months. Harry Frost, ABC News, Canberra.